Happy birthday. <laughs> Come on, George. Make a wish, mate. Ah, oh, damn it, George. You're killing me, mate. G'day, Ghostbusters. How's the ghost bustin'? This is Jordan. Welcome back to Phasmophobia. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little recording today. Of, I've got a new recording setup that I'm using, so I'm trying to test it out. And so I thought I'd jump in and do a quick little investigation in Phasmophobia. Maybe I'll put this up to YouTube, maybe I won't. See how it turns out, eh? So let's have a look at what we've got on offer. Um, hmm. Edgefield Asylum High School Prison. Let's go to the prison. Why not? Uh, intermediate, sure. Ready up, start. Okay, I'll see you in there. We're here. Thank you, Dad. Well, that's good. We don't want a violent prisoner. Uh, where's the power box? Level 2, right above the entrance. Gotcha. Uh, cleanse the area near the ghost using smudge sticks. Yeah, should be able to. Get a ghost to blow out, blow out a candle. Should be able to. Direct. Detect direct detect a ghost presence with a motion sensor. Should be able to. George Martinez. Get a George. Um how do we want to go in? Take our torch. We'll take I'm not gonna bother I I don't like the parabolic microphone. I just, I don't like it. I, I find it easier to just listen with my ears than actually try to see a reading on that thing. Alrighty. I think this is the first time I've been to the prison since they updated the location of the truck. Yes, thank you. Don't have to walk to the end of the bloody car park to get to me truck. Good change. Alrighty. Ready to open door in three, two, one. Door is open. What's the light switch in here? I have not played the prison map in a long, long time. That's a big, that's a big water machine, mate. Somebody's thirsty. Can you hear me? Oh, I heard something. Is that upstairs or just here? Bloody hell, that door opened violently. Uh, I don't think there's much in here that you can throw around. Can you give me a sign? I'm going to try in here quickly. In the old central control unit. I think I heard them upstairs. Let's just close the doors behind us. So if we come back and the doors are open, we know it was not us that did it. Can I, can I, no, never mind. That's fine. Didn't want to close you anyway. Oh. Let's try upstairs. I tend to have a lot of luck at finding them in the upstairs office area. When I'm on the prison, when I'm on the prison, that's, that's a saying, isn't it? When I'm on the prison. Okay. Is anything obviously out of order up here? Hmm. 
No. Let's try in here. And then we'll go back and check the other offices. Uh, door. There you are. Oh, okay. That door is always open. Can you give me a sign? I heard oh. Maybe they're in the cell block. Where are you? Love their filing in this joint. Can you give me a sign? Okay, let's try the actual cell block, I guess. I think that was just the flagpole. I don't think that actually means that. Let's try the warden's office very quickly. Uh, are you the warden? Are we dealing with a ghost warden? Oh, we got a Ouija board. I could ask where they are, but don't really want to take the sanity hit while I'm walking around this large location. Okay, let's try downstairs. I can hear a sink. Oh, hey buddy, how you doing? Okay, so you in here or are you in there? Or a little from column A and a little from column B. Okay. Not a shy ghost. Can you show yourself? Um, let's try the book here and then we'll... Can we... That's not gonna... Fine, that'll do. Uh, we'll drop the EMF. Around there. Okay, so he's either in the stairwell this hallway or that shower could be in here you in here okay let's get some cameras going and try to figure this out But he definitely wanted to make himself known as soon as we were close to his area. So that's interesting. That's quite territorial behavior. What do we want to do? You now what we'll do, we'll do a quick circuit with the handheld camera and try to see if we can spot some ghost orbs. And then we will um, what do I need for my objectives? Motion sensor, candle, smudgies. Uh, I guess we can do a motion sensor. Let's just see if we can catch some of ghost orbs. That would be helpful. 
I should have checked my sanity while I was out at the truck because the ghost did appear to us. So that may have been a bit of a sanity drop. And we've also been wandering around in the dark a little bit. Okay. Oh, oh. Nope, 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 nope. Yep. No, yes. Sorry, I keep hitting Q instead of W. Not sure why I was doing that, but there we go. Okay, no orbs there. It's probably not a ghost that actually produces orbs, but I'm just trying to narrow down our options. Okay, let's just, uh, can we put you there? No. No, we can't. Um, let's just do this, I guess. It's not going to be a great view. Um, try here, maybe. Nothing happens. We'll change things around. Get on the ground, thank you. Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Hmm. We had the initial burst of activity. Now he's gone quiet. I'm starting to wonder if he's actually in this stairwell here. Anyway, onward and upward. Could try temp, try and narrow down the location with the thermometer. How's our sanity? 65. Right. That's a terrible placement. I should have put it on the end of the shower stall. It would have almost reached the wall. Anyway. Wow, that was fast, mate. I don't even know where you are yet. Not looking good there so far. What about here? I was kind of hoping we'd have a better view of the book. That's fine. Um, let's try temperature and we'll chuck a camera in that hallway, I guess. I don't think we walked around in the dark enough for our sanity to be at 65%. So that ghost event may have had a big effect on our sanity. So that could give us a hint as to what type of ghost we're dealing with. It could be a sanity drainer. Um, let's try here, because this is where we got a very strong reading. Uh, what's the temp in here? Very warm. Really? Okay. It's colder in here. Very cold in here. We're hovering close to freezing temps. Okay. All right, let's go get that camera. All right, so at the moment, the shower block is definitely, I went past it, didn't I? Yes, I did. The shower block is definitely where the action is. And I've heard that about prison life. Um, let's try this. Let's move this motion sensor. Oh, is that me or you, mate? Oh, ghost riding. Okay, finally, things are happening. 
we have evidence. Uh, let's just drop this so it gives us a general reading. Oh. Playing funny buggers, mate. All right. I'll probably want to get a dots projector or two in there as well. And I think we'll check for fingerprints and we'll need to get the spirit box going. Oh my God, this stamina on the bigger maps. You really notice the stamina. It's shocking. Oh, that's not the MF5. Not even close. Did we get the reading? Really? So that was me. Okay. That's fair enough. Okay. So let's mark down what we do have. And that is ghost writing. So we've got a spirit, a poltergeist, a mare, a demon, a revenant, a shade, or a miling. Jesus Christ. That's a fun group. Um, what do I want to do now? Blow out a candle could be annoying. Cleanse the area near the ghost using smudge sticks. Oh, look at that coverage on that motion sensor now, mate. Brilliant. Um, do I want to do this? What do I want to do? Do I want to do candle or smudge stick? Um, you know what? Bugger it. Let's get our evidence first. Um, we'll try fingerprints, I guess. I worry about the optional objectives once we've actually nailed down what we're dealing with. There's no point worrying about that stuff until you actually know that you've got the ghost type sorted out. Are the lights on in here? No. Where are you? Where are you? I'm you? Okay. That's two pieces of evidence. Now are we going to get a response in here or are you out in the bloody hallway now? What do you want from me? Where are you? How old are you? Okay. Uh, let's have a look for fingies. Okay. Done. So we have all of our evidence. Did you just turn off the power? No, you didn't. But you are playing with switches and doors. Okay, let's get outside. Because I don't trust this bastard. Uh, spirit box and fingerprints. Poltergeist. Interesting. I guess there's not many items in there for him to play around with. So we can mark those off. We're done with the evidence. We have a Pulte. Uh, overview. Have I gotten any of my objectives yet? No. No, I bloody haven't. Okay. So that sanity drop was literally just the ghost event and us walking around in the dark. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's get this annoying stuff out of the way here. I absolutely hate having to carry the lighter as a separate inventory object. I think the lighter, you should be able to say, okay, I'm just carrying that in my back pocket and it doesn't count towards your inventory. Uh, because it's fine in multiplayer because you can have somebody smudging or somebody using candles and everyone else is gathering evidence and stuff. But in single player, it's bloody annoying to have two of your three inventory slots taken up. So if you, you need your torch, obviously, and then you have to carry the lighter and then you have to carry the candle, 
Oh, Jesus. Okay, so he's manifested somewhere. I can hear him humming. Uh, let's move this. Let's try by the door. He seems to be going out to the hallway a lot. Thank you, George. Okay, so George is starting to lose his patience with us. Aren't you, mate? It's all right, I understand. You used to having the place to yourself. Please blow out that candle, mate. I don't want to be buggering around with relighting the candle all night. Okay, we've got the motion sensor. That's good. Please blow out the candle, George. Come on, mate. Let's try and get the smudging done. Sanity check, 80, 85. Uh, come on, George, blow out the candle, champ. Now, the smudge sticks seem to burn down a lot more quickly now. So we have to make pretty sure we're close to his area. I think I'll start burning the smudge stick right in the doorway. And we'll see how that goes. Is there a light I can turn on down here? This is a long walk in the dark. Alright, let's try right about here. How are we doing? Look, isn't this candle annoying you, mate? Don't you just want to blow it out? Alright, let's see how that did. I know we can check in the book, I just don't trust George not to start hunting me while I'm looking at my book. By and large, I do not like looking in my journal while I'm inside the haunting area. It's just me. One of my foibles. I don't know if I've ever used the word foible in my life. 41 years, I think that was my first foible. Um, smudgies are done, motion sensor's done, he's still not blowing out the candle. George, come on, mate. Case number 11, I've never noticed. They just added that you actually have case numbers now. That's good. I mean, it means fuck all, but it's interesting. Okay. Just waiting on the candle, George. Did I bring more than one? I did. I did. Um, let's... Am I still holding the lighter? Yes, I am. Okay, let's try and get another candle. Um... This place, when you haven't played this place for a while, all these little pops and cracks and chinking sounds, you think everything's the ghost. It's a very distracting location. Maybe we'll try this one. I think he appeared in here again when he was humming. Let's just try that there. See how that goes. George, one more thing and I can go home, mate. It's very close to knockoff time, George. Should probably get a photo of the book. We go upstairs and get a photo of the Ouija board. If I can remember where it bloody was. Oh, come on, George. We'll get a photo of the book. We'll try and relight that candle. We'll... Was it the warden's office that had the Ouija board? I do not remember. Let's go. Oh, oh of course there's a rope there. Let's get a photo of the Ouija board. Pretty sure it's the warden's office. Uh, door. There you are. There we go.
Okay. Actually, let's check. No, still hasn't blown out a candle. Good stuff, George. That's helpful, mate. Oh, that was... That was... He really threw something. That was loud. Happy birthday. <laughs> Come on, George. Make a wish, mate. Oh, damn it, George. You're killing me, mate. Come on, mate, please. All I need is for you to blow out a candle. That is not asking much. I didn't kill you, mate. Why are you making things so hard on me? Not my fault you got stabbed in the shower. Oop. He's poltergeisting. Chucking shit all over the joint. Oh, I could have got the fingerprints. Bugger. Another door. George is busy. Please blow out the candle. He's playing with everything except the bloody candles. Actually, that's, that's, I don't like checking the book, but I will do it. Yep, that'll do. God, I thought the game froze then. Stop playing with light switches and blow out the candle, George. Yeah, don't play with the doors either. Just heard a beep. Oh no, there's nothing. It was just the sensor going off. George, you are killing me, mate. You are giving me the shits. Now what? Well, Buggy your candle, George. Stick it up your ass. We're done. If you blow it out now, I swear. Welcome back. Alrighty. Thank you. Actually, not a bad payday. Not bad at all. Did not get the third objective. I don't care. Alrighty. I think we'll leave that one there, guys. If you liked the episode, please leave a like. If you'd like to help me grow the channel, consider subscribing. But apart from that, once again, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.